Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Zarin and Assassination among with a bunch of underperforming specs all saw about a 5% and sometimes 3% damage buff increase with this Tuesday Wednesday update. It's looking like Blizzard isn't really looking to change the meta and allow all these underperforming specs to overtake whatever is strong, but it is trying to shore up everything that is kind of weak. And Assassination hasn't had the most representation with this expansion so far. Already Assassination in previous patches, uh, literally weeks ago, saw multiple increases to its damage. And with this one being a 5% increase, it's quite significant when you add up all the other increases from before. Is this going to be enough that makes Assassination potentially viable and actually doable within PvE? Because in the past it always felt like it was underperforming. But is this set of changes, combined with the others, enough to finally allow the specs some shine in the spotlight when it comes to PvE content and maybe even potentially PvP? Let's first go over exactly what this buff is. This buff for the spec of Assassination is an aura buff. This buff is only for your abilities not your auto attacks and some of the other passives so there isn't going to be exactly a overall like five percent buff it's more like a 4.5 or something like that because a good portion of your damage is from your auto attacks. so that is something to consider so this aura buff buffs your class abilities not your autos but abilities which means that you are increasing the damage your venoms do your poisons your ruptures your garrotes your mutilates all your abilities that you press while in combat all do more damage and exactly how much more damage well with this five percent buff combined together with a 13 percent buff that it's gotten over the last few weeks we're looking at all those abilities doing about 18 percent more damage which is quite sizable when you put it all together. So you shouldn't look at this buff that we got recently as just a 5% buff. You should also look at some of the other buffs we've gotten in previous weeks, together culminating into 18%. If you were to hear tomorrow that some class got buffed by 18%, wouldn't you want to check it out? And wouldn't you expect that spec and class to maybe be performing really well in whatever content it may be? Because 18% is quite sizable in comparison to the small digit numbers. And another fact, just to temper your expectations a little bit, this buff is just for damage and abilities. It doesn't change the way you play your spec. Maybe in the far off future, or maybe in the near time, about patch 9.1, maybe during BlizzCon announcement, Blizz will be talking about which specs they're going to be redesigning and redoing. Maybe there'll be certain mechanics that are kind of outdated and they want to try something new. So maybe you're hoping for Assassination complete rework and maybe that'll come in in the future. But right now, Assassination plays exactly the same as it does. It just hits a little harder with your abilities. So that is something for us to remember. This isn't going to be the spec is completely brand new. It did just get a pretty nice buff culminating from the last few weeks. And the question is, how is it performing so far? We have sims in order to take a look at some of these numbers to show big comparisons. In the rogue discord they did some sims of their own to find out exactly how much of a gain assassination has gotten with these new changes. And it looks like assassination is only ever so slightly behind subtlety, that is with the optimal buffs in terms of pure single target. This were some of the sims of subtlety with Akari's soul legendary which is generally not the most practical legendary if you wanted a pure single target damage it's not terrible but most sub rogues end up going for finality because it's far more practical and this is subtlety with pure single target as much single target damage as it can and assassination ends up only being slightly behind which is huge. This 5% buff allows assassination to actually have some competitive numbers not exactly where subtlety is but really really close. In a more realistic scenario when it comes to subtlety as well as assassination, I've done my own sims. With the best gear available in my character who is mostly outlaw geared, so versatility is my really good stat with a little bit of haste, a little bit of crit, but mostly versa, which is not the best stat for the other two specs. Well, maybe subtlety because crit versa is a pretty good set of stats, but for assassination you need haste, crit. So with the best gear that I could scrounge together, simming against the legendaries with very very base legendaries for equal amount of opportunity for both specs. It turns out that the pure single target build for assassination and the pure single target build for subtlety with the more practical legendary ends up, at least on my character, being still pretty close in damage. Actually, quite close. 
To some players, this kind of gap is quite huge, but you also should remember that my gear definitely does not facilitate the optimal subtlety or assassination rogue playstyle. In fact, if anything, my gear does lean towards more subtlety, since subtlety loves versatility and I have plenty of crit on my character to allow subtlety to do a bit better in pure single target. But for assassination, it's a whole nother story. I need a whole lot of haste. A stat that I don't have too much of, I have a little bit of, but you need far more haste and far more critical strike in order to facilitate much smoother playstyle. This is something that I even noticed when actually playing the rogue inside of Mythic Plus Dungeons to test out the damage, but also to test out how well does it play with all these buffs. So the spec is going to be very gear reliant. So assassination, while it might not seem like the strongest spec right now in this expansion currently, with far better gear, it could see far better results. In the past, assassination always scaled off of gear. The more gear you got, the better it felt and the better it played and the more damage it did. So gear does so much for you, but even without the best in slot pieces, you still can do quite decent numbers and where you're not super far behind subtlety. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of it. Can you somehow super hard commit into plain assassination? It all depends if you're someone who is still pugging in the pug world or if you're someone who has a guild. If you're someone with an actual established guild that's looking for progression and needs your rogue to do the most amount of damage and you decided to tell them, hey, I'm going to main assassination and try to min max it with best in slot gear, you actually could get some real numbers. You actually could get some real damage in my opinion. In mythic pluses, you actually do quite a bit of damage and in raids, I could totally see if you are min maxing, getting your best Lego, getting your best stats, you could probably live your best life. In Pugs, however, I still think it's going to be difficult to change player's perception. You're still going to be expected to play a Subtlety for anything single target. You're going to be expected to play Outlaw for anything AoE. But that's just something that comes with Pugs and player perception. That's something you can't really change. But if you're someone who wanted to hardcore commit into assassination, I think with all these buffs cumulative together with best in slot gear, you're looking at a spec with actual potential. And if anything, the spec is only going to grow in potential because it does really well with a lot of haste, with a lot of crit. And in the next tier, we're only going to get more of secondary stats. And eventually, the spec is going to see some great performance increases from all of those stats. You'll be swimming in stats. So even committing and trying to learn how to play the spec right now, getting the knowledge and then performing better at it as soon as it sees a massive rise, which will probably will with extra scaling in future patches, you probably are going to start taking off in damage. Where I think there is even more potential for the spec is in PvP, because right now you do a lot of damage and already Assassination was already able to do quite a bit together with Vendetta, together with 100% crit Lego and honestly that 100% crit Lego can make any spec better just because of that 100% burst possibility. What I'm trying to say is you'll probably end up seeing more Assassination Rogues potentially in PvP, maybe paired together with the Disc Priest or a Holy Paladin, a class that can do quite a bit of damage themselves, has a bit of class CC and has good cooldowns and usually survives for quite a bit. So one thing I could say about the spec, there's always potential and we'll have to wait and see how the community reacts to the buffs themselves after they give themselves a go. You're not going to be able to easily change players perception once they decide that a certain spec is terrible. It's going to be terrible until someone opens their eyes to them. But with assassination from my experience so far, it does do quite a bit of damage and the buffs are seen as improvement. However, there is still a little bit of gearing when it comes to seeing the true full potential of this spec. I think that's the only thing that's really going to hold a lot of players back. But if you're someone who, let's say, got a new alt and it's a rogue and you were thinking, oh man, assassination just got buffed. Maybe I could play it as my main for my alt or my main spec for my alt. I'm really interested in this play style. It could be good. Then I would tell you, you wouldn't be making the worst choice. The spec has definitely saw a lot of increases and it no longer literally heals the boss when it does damage. So in terms of its viability, I think it's in a much better position than where it was. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about Assass? Have you got to give it a try so far? Or are you planning on maybe even full committing onto Assassination on your next Rogue? I'm really interested to see how this spec plays once you have the haste and crit necessary in order to truly facilitate its playstyle. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see all of you in the next one.